All right, we're going to take a look at this new type of juicer, and it has a screw here, and the screw, as you turn it down, it compresses um, this plate against whatever you have in here, and then the juice will come out this hole. This is all stainless. Uh, this is painted real nicely, and uh, we, right now we're going to do some watermelon. We just cut up some pieces of watermelon put in here, and we're going to pull this up here. Now, the thing about this is they did a really good job, and it, it came packaged very well. Um, everything, this was stainless, this is plastic. Um, the only thing in the past, like uh, on some of these that they've said, is the screw. See how the screw goes through here and goes through this metal part? Um, as it's screwing, um, metal shavings could come down here and then get into the food. Um, that was the only complaint I've seen on, like, on Amazon and some of their, their other models. But this one um, looks very nicely chromed. I don't see any parts coming off it, and I don't see anything coming off down here. Uh, so it looks nicely made. Everything looks nicely made and painted. I would say it's really professionally done. Um, so let's go ahead and, and actually twist it down and see how hard it's going to be and see how much juice we get out of it. Uh, now, taking consideration, we did try it with carrots. I know this is a juicer um, for fruits, uh, and carrots, I mean, there was not even a drop that came in there. But So let's go ahead and, and give this a shot. It's pretty simple and easy cleanup. You just stick it inside here, and you clean these two pieces and put them in the dishwasher, and you'd be done. Uh, so we'll just see what happens here. Because you want to twist it? Sit here, baby. Let's see if you can twist that. See how hard it is. Twist it hard. Is it hard? Is it pretty easy? <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Well, let's see how much we get out of here. So there we go. So you've seen how much was in there, and there's the juice came up pretty quickly. You want to try it out, because There's uh, seeds in there. I like seeds. Exactly. Okay, we'll jack them. Is it good? Is that pretty easy? Okay, so I would say it's, it's pretty easy, um, and so once you're done, we had a little bit of stuff fly out, as you can see on the wall here, um, but once it's done, you would just uh, take it off, and like I said, just rinse this out. So the cleanup's really easy. I like everything about it. Um, I, I do think I would like the ones that uh, they have a jack down here or something at the bottom and pushes this up, and I think I like those better because... Um, because like I said, no metal shavings or anything could fall through here. I just feel more comfortable with it. But all in all, I mean, it's it's a nice unit. And the only other thing, uh, as you can see, that we don't like about this one is, uh, and I guess this would be on any of them, if, if you keep cranking it down, uh, stuff will fly out, could fly out of there and get all over your walls and stuff. So anyway, that's the review. I think it's a nice little unit. I'll leave a, a link to the description below, in the description below. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right, we've been juicing a little more with this thing to kind of get an idea of it. And so I'm going to show you a few things. Now, to get some juice out of it, to really get some juice out of it, you got to crank on this thing and, and crank and crank. And it takes a lot of work, actually. Um, I guess it would be good if you want to work out and keep in shape. But, man, and I mean, I don't know. It, it takes a lot. Of like a, You have to sit there and crank it. And then once it starts getting down there, you're cranking it and cranking it as hard as you can. Um, and you have to hold this, so you have to put a lot of force on it. And this is just for the watermelon. I couldn't imagine uh, apples or something. Um, so it's a really neat thing. But one of the other things that concerns is like when you open, when you take this out. I'm going to pause this and um, take this out and come back. But you can see, and you can see how much stuff is like shooting around the side. So as you're cranking it down, this stuff's shooting out everywhere. I actually had to put paper towels right here to keep it from coming out. So. I really didn't like that part either, 
But uh, I'm going to pause this and we're going to take this off and you, we can see it. I mean, I, I really compressed this for a long time and we're going to see how much juice we actually got out and how much is left in there. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we got, we got it pulled back up now. And you see a lot of, um, there's still a lot of water here and waste. And so like if we pull this out of here and take a look in here, you can see a lot of it shot out. But there's still, I mean, this is after me, I mean, really cranking it up hard for a long time. So, there's still a lot left in here. Um, I would say this this is okay. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Um, and it does work. And it's a good price. And it looks good. So, I would say it's, a, it's a, definitely a neat item if you're going to be doing some juicing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, purchase one of those. Uh, they're a little heavier duty. And they have like a hydraulic bottle jack down here. And I think they exert like eight tons of force. And it pushes it up. And I just like the design better, and there's so much more force, and I think um, <clears throat> you could also use it to do vegetables. Like, the main thing I want to do is carrots. So, I would say, you know, that's that's the review of it. If you, if you have any comments or if you have one of these, uh, I'd love to hear your experience with it in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching, and take care. Say bye, Goo. All right, in this video, we're going to review the EJ Wax Fruit Press. Now, the reason I actually bought this was to press, not fruits, but carrots. Um, carrots is the only thing I really want to press. Like for spinach, I always put it in the blender. But for carrots, if you try to blend carrots, uh, it's just too thick. And it just takes too many. Uh, you'd have to eat a whole bag of carrots. So I was going to try this and see if this would work. This is a really good price on this. And it's a really nice device. I actually like it. Uh, it came in a really nice box. And this is all chrome plated. Uh, very nice. Uh, stainless steel, stainless steel bucket. Um, so for just a juice press, I think it would be a great, a great value. Uh, I think it's well made. It looks, it looks nice. Um, they do have like this moves around, so you'd have to hold it, and you're going to see in just a minute. Um, I haven't actually used it yet, but I could just see that this would be moving around. But they do have screw holes at the bottom, so I guess you could somehow attach it uh, somewhere. And if you did, that would be a lot easier, and it would move around. So. But what, what I'm wanting to use it for, and I don't know if it's going to work, is these carrots and see if it'll compress them down and get some carrot juice out of it. If not, I may have to get something else. But so I just chopped up some carrots. We're going to stick it in here and see how this works. Stay with me. I better put something under here too. I'd be surprised if this works. Huh? Hang on, I'm doing a video. Oh, see, I can't get it. Hey, can you come here and help me for a minute? But what is it? It's a juice press, but I was going to try to use it for carrot press. Okay, just see if you can twist that. Don't twist it too for your breaker. Like that? Yeah. Okay, does so it sound like it's gonna break? Oh, really? Let's see if you can get a little more on it then. If you think it's gonna break, don't do it. Okay, that's pretty good. It's bending already. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, as you can see, there's zero juice coming out of this thing. So, if you're gonna use this for a juice press, it'd probably work perfect. It's really nice. But if you're gonna use it for uh, carrots, no go. I mean, there's not one ounce of, if you can see in there, there's not one ounce of juice coming out. So, I would have to... Anything. Yeah, you'd have to get something that puts a lot more pressure because, as you can see, it didn't do anything. So, there you go. If you want to juice carrots this isn't the way to go but if you're going to just get it for uh, juicing juices it works real easy it's a really nice chrome plating the paint is very uh, well done it's lightweight it comes already assembled in a box nice box uh, both of these look to be stainless uh, very nice made uh, so yeah I would give it a thumbs up for uh, regular juicing like apples and stuff but uh, not for carrots 
and it's not made for carrots, so I'm saying that, but I had thought it might work for carrots. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'll leave the a link to the description on Amazon where you can buy it below. And have a great day. Happy New Year.